So that, that just shows you. Yeah, that speaks volumes, really. Well, it's Greg with the opening break here. 50 minutes on that match clock. Race to seven, and we're underway. And it's first opportunity straight away to Mark Selby. And as you can see, it looks like there's a few more people. Mind you, to be fair, the crowd just swelled up for the, the six red shootout as well. And they're, they're staying for them at the uh, Selby match. Just a slight issue with the reds. And the, they were in position for the shootout. So that's been sorted. And now we can get underway. Mark misses his cannon and knocks a yellow on the red, making this what was a okay opportunity into a poor opportunity straight away. Yeah, we tried to uh, dislodge the red on the, the right hand um, side rail there, and um, obviously by missing the red, um, yeah, it's, a, it's no real out now. You can see there, Vicky watching on, Mark's, husband, uh, Mark's wife rather. Mark's using her cue, which is uh, an interesting one. His cue's being being repaired at the moment, getting ready for the snooker season ahead. The thing is, Mark's got a, you know a very good pull brain, so obviously he's not going to miss many balls anyway. Through through obviously playing a lot of snooker, but you know he won't push the boat out either, as as that shot just shown. Yeah, you've seen we've seen obviously a lot of snooker players play and we've got more to come as well especially if you've not heard the, the news on some of the players playing in the Pairs Cup it's an unbelievable lineup. For, for example Kyron Wilson playing on Monday night in the Pairs but we've seen some come in without that pull brain without that knowledge from the past and kind of almost feel like well they're just going to have to go for everything and, and try and make it happen and it's not that easy Lost a turn shot from Greg, but he's given Mark half a chance, and he hammers in that pot. Yeah, that's a great pot, wasn't it? Yeah, it's like he was hanging over the pocket. That's what I mean. He's not going to miss any ball. Like you wouldn't think he's going to miss any easy balls. It's just uh, you know if he can't do because I, I I did watch your your interview with him the other day, and it's just whether he, you know he loses the cue ball sometimes because of obviously the the white being different. That red hasn't broken out as he wanted to. So yeah. Look to see if he can take it long. Might be looking at that thinking we'll drop it in the middle, but that's incredibly tough from that angle. Next to no pocket. Yeah, I think he needs to, if he if he, he can't really drop in the middle because he won't be on the next red. So I think if he, you know, if he does go, he definitely needs to take it long. He's decided it does. Also helps that Mark knows, and it's a fantastic shot that Mark knows that these tables are playing fairly generous with the heat and the brand new cloths on there and. They are sliding in. He played it pocket weight, allowed every chance for it to slide in, and beautiful shot. So it's a good finish, really, because you know I think Greg's probably played as good a shot as he could have played. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't easy for him when he came to the table. It just shows you, though, you, like you said, Mark's got that pull. Bro. That did not happen this afternoon. Mark's break lets him down immediately in this match. Cue ball kicked into the top left-hand corner, but the cue ball was tracking. Interesting that it would have been dry anyway, which that also didn't happen this afternoon. I think in terms of route now, I think he's going to take this one in the, the the middle pocket that's gone in, and then he'll take the the next red in the the other middle pocket, and then the red in the right hand middle pocket. Take the one down the rail, and then leave the one um, uh, need a left centre third from home, and then he he'll, oh, he's missed that one. He just left him, I think he was playing your route exactly, but he left himself too much angle on that ball to just drop it in. So he tries to screw it on and off to get straight in on the, the bottom centre as we look from the overhead and a slightly careless miss. Yeah, because I think he was perfect, you know, in terms of the route. He, you know, if he leaves the two reds at the bottom, then he would have potted his second molasser and held on the yellow and he would have been out. So, 
and obviously these these kind of frames because like Mark's not going to make many unforced errors. These are the kind of frames you need to you need to get on really. Yeah, not a good early sign there for Greg. You can you know forgive him for the safety shot he played in the opening frame. It was not a, not like he did a huge amount wrong, but that one, it's a poor shot. In fact, probably two really if, if he was trying to get straighter on it. No reason not to be. Although we've been saying that the players, everyone that's played out there, is, you know, the ball's reacting a little bit more than they're expecting it to, so that's probably the reason he didn't get straighter on it. Yeah. And obviously he's getting used to the, the table as well, so, you know, it's his first game on the table. You can mark just potty shell now and run through, he'll get he'll get the gap between the eight ball and the red. Oh, a little flick that he likes. Yeah, it's perfect as well. You can take the one at the, the, the bottom there, and then, and then the, uh, the other two yellows are easy. But yeah, even though he's, he wants to play Paul for such a long time, you know, like in the, probably in the singles event, you know, he's um, he's always got that experience to lean back on. Yeah. I actually remember playing Mark in a, a World Championship qualifier final. And um, he beat me 7-6. And the ball he potted down the rail at 6 each was one of the best shots I've ever seen. <laughs> Yeah, and um, that was a year actually that he ended up losing to Darren Appleton. Currently one-one with Carl Morris. Table two, if you'd like to watch that one. Good break from Greg. I feel like with every frame that comes along, every chance that comes along, you feel like the pressure mounts until you win that first frame and make that good first clearance and. You just don't want this scoreline to get too far away. Okay, it's only 2-0 at the moment, so there's no panic stations at all. But you don't want to let another one slip by, especially as good a chance as this, although the opening shot is tricky if he wants reds, which would be his first choice. Yeah, it is tricky. Uh, the white got kicked up the table, isn't it? So oh, Tries to break out the yellow with the first shot. Doesn't manage to, and... He isn't on anything, but this happened to Mark in the, the first frame and he played a good safety and he w earned himself another opportunity from it, so Greg's got to be patient. Yeah, well, it wasn't e an easy layout, was it, really? You kind of feel like he needs an easy chance just to get yeah. into the match. Very close. I think he's, the referee has decided it was just in time. I think he's let the cue ball drift a little bit too far. Mark can pop the one to the top right for sure. Don't know whether he can see enough of the one to right centre. one long instead maybe he couldn't see the one to the center pocket but still a surprising miss and what's worse is he's left an angle for Greg straight away to deal with his only bad ball or really bad ball he has left an angle but he's been a bit touch fortunate the Reds come back and hampered the cue ball yeah so he couldn't he couldn't get to the the bottom of the white yeah and oh, looks a terrible miss but that hampered cue made that shot ten times harder yeah if that red ball isn't there it's quite an easy shot Greg's had his own little rub, hasn't left anything easy. Oh, decided to play that one off the yellow. And this frame's all of a sudden looks a little bit scrappy. Yeah, it does, but obviously in terms of the positions of the, the reds and the yellows, the reds are a big favourite, aren't they? Nice 
not sure if he's going to play like a loss of turn shot now, maybe. Yeah, I think that was the right shot. Depends whether he's left or... If the yellow-red is a plant, and it does, you know, the other yellow's not in the way, then all of a sudden there's a way that Mark can manufacture something there. Yeah. He might be looking to pot this red in the centre and screw off the bottom rail and dislodge it as well. Yeah, but I think I think your shots on. If, that, if that's a plant, he yeah. can he can manufacture one of the reds into it, the yellow. Especially if he can play it, sort of make sure, you know, as long as he doesn't have to hit it full. If he could play it like three quarter ball. Yeah. So what it looks like he's going to do now is going to pop the red in the the right hand centre pocket, leave himself just off straight the red in the top left hand corner, and screw down, and then take the the bottom red. Le bottom left that's what he's going to be looking at oh, so he's gone the other way so he's trying to leave an angle the other way and then stun down or he might or he might screw off the side rail there he's definitely looking at leaving the last red uh, bottom left corner not much to land in though no this is very very short position A shot that is absolutely fantastic from Mark Selby. He's got to play another shot now, that's on the eight ball as well. It's not easy to get out from there. He might be looking just potty playing ball, cannony yellow, half ball. So then the, the white comes off the bottom round out for the black. Not quite on the eight ball. Excellent pot. He's now digging. Treble. Why not? Treble. The, the, the yellow's in the way for the double, so he's looking at treble. Not to be. He dug hard, but couldn't get there. Big opportunity for Greg Patton. OK, it's not wide open to counter clear here, but this is a frame he should win. Yeah, and, and as you know, as a player, these are just frames you can't lose can't, in matches. Greg's played the right shot there, didn't have a, like a very inviting first shot. No, just be patient. Doesn't look like he can see enough of the side rail, does it? Like he's thinking he's got to come off the top rail, but maybe it's a bit deceiving. You know what I think he's looking at here, Simon? Coming off the side rail, it's in the black, like a quarter of a ball and double it in the right hand corner <laughs> pocket. Let's see. So he just lined up. Misses the eight ball. Much easier hit off the top cushion. Uh, he saw away going that way, but now that has opened everything up for Greg Batten. Apart from the eight ball, which is still on the cushion, would you play the bump just to get it into play? Yeah, he's, he's playing definitely the right shot, first shot. Yeah, that gets the eight ball nicely in the open. And now pick your route, plenty of ways to go from here. Um, you know, he puts quite a bit of time in off the table, doesn't he? He does, yeah. 
table at home so he can put the time in when he needs to. I think he's been playing a few more tournaments locally as well, just to get the, the match in, match practice in, get the confidence of winning, which he's had some good success in. Yeah. He's just doing it on this stage that is kind of eluding him at the moment. But that will really settle him down, getting that first one on the board. Plenty more action to come through the course of the rest of the night. And Mark Selby's break is drying up. That's too dry on the trot. I think he's definitely, look, he's definitely needs to go look at going yellows here. Because I think the yellow goes past the red bottom left. Squeezes in. Mm. I don't think he'd be going yellows if it didn't. Well, looks like he is looking to try and move it. So maybe it doesn't. Very tight from the overhead. Definitely doesn't now. Disastrous shot for Greg. Tough that. If, if he was trying to send that ball into the in the ball to open it up, that was tall order. It was tall, yeah, it was tall order because he couldn't really generate much pace into the into the red ball he was going into. It may have been that he felt it did go, but he had to play that and he was trying to cannon it out of the way, but it's put him in a world of trouble. It's hard because he can't really hide, can he, anywhere? we are going to leave him mark a chance. In the end, the clock rushes him into... Oh, it, it's a bit of a nothing shot, maybe... A, it was a, some sort of effort, a combination, or maybe he was trying to get the yellow going towards the right centre, but it's uh, not the visit to the table he wanted because he's completely opened up these reds. Yeah, he did look like, say, did look like a bit of a nothing shot, but I don't think he had many options. No. Especially when the clock's against you, you've got to try and come up with something, and when there's nothing obvious, time gets away from you quickly. I think the key, the key, the key shot in this frame for Mark is the eight ball. The eight ball's not, it's not, it doesn't go in many pockets, does it? No. He arguably could have left that ball, it's just potted last. So then he pots it and then takes the, black, the eight ball top left, top right, sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah, it does go there. It's like shake of the head, so he's not happy with where he is. Definitely unhappy with where he is now. That one's gone wrong completely. Yeah, it was it was difficult where the where the eight ball was to get back on it. Another chance for Greg that he, he definitely won't be expecting after his, his last shot. Yeah. When you feel, you don't feel he needs to take because it's been plenty of opportunities both ways in this match. But if he could get it back to 2-2, two, two, 20 minutes or so gone in the match, very different feel to it compared to being 2-0 down. And you just felt at that point, you know, it wasn't wasn't going his way, and he was looking a little bit unconfident. I think the third frame was key, really, because obviously Mark was probably, you know, arguably a couple of rolls away from landing straight on the eight ball for three nil. Yeah, big, big change there, big difference there, isn't it? You can also get the sense from your opponent, you know, if, if you're feeling a little bit, you're not feeling your best out there, maybe the confidence isn't high, and your opponent lets you off with a couple, and all of a sudden you think, hang on a minute, this is still 
this is my match here. Mm. I get some good chances. I can win this one. Get some belief out there. I'm not saying he hasn't got that to start with, but from what we've seen from him so far over the course of the last couple of years. It's not easy now, Simon, to, right. get, to get on the last, the last yellow after potting this in the centre pocket. It doesn't look like it goes bottom right. I don't see how he gets on it anywhere else. second there I was going off his body language and I thought has he landed on the gap but he hasn't he's played the cannon on the red hasn't he he's just caught it a touch too thin yeah skimmed across the top of it from the main camera it looks like the camera on the red's going to leave him nothing but actually you could see from the overhead if he had just caught that a shade thicker he'd be on the yellow Turns the table back over to Mark Selby. Doesn't look like there's an easy pot on, but the, the red does pass the eight ball. Yeah, and th these frames are like key matches, aren't they? Because it's gone back and forth, like whoever's going to win the frame. And it's, it's a big frame, really, in the context of the match. Yeah, it's felt like everyone so far. Is Cuba going to pull up? Is it going to pull up? Just about. He's, he's kind of just accepted there a long eight ball rather than try to go on in the middle or anything. He's just yeah, accepted just it. More than happy to have it. And never really in doubt. Another intriguing frame though. Multiple chances both ways once again, but it's Mark Selby this time that gets it and goes two frames in front. Cam Singleton and Craig wanting him a 5 5 and 2 1. Scott Gillespie now over Carl Morris and a disastrous break for Greg Batten, especially with this split. Uh, yeah, you don't want to be seeing like your opponent leaving, leaving these your opponents. I mean, he's only got to really play one shot, really, as long as he, the two yellows are together on the right hand side. If he can land like pretty straight on the outside one, he just screws the other yellow over the middle, and then you can't really miss them, really. Oh, he's going red, so he fancies a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess if you're going red, he's got one shot to play, getting from. Assuming he wants to take both these two reds on the right-hand side consecutively, and you've just got to get from that one to the one on the left-hand side, and, and you're good. Yeah, may, may, maybe you know, second glance, maybe the maybe the yellow wasn't as accessible. You know, the outside one, so he could pot in screw the yellow. Right? Yeah. You know, arguably, arguably for like these standard players, like. The you know, the fancy, you fancy getting the ball off anyway, to be honest. Yeah. When you're having a knock with a friend, you sort of say, I'll take the, take the worst colour set. <laughs> yeah. Another, what, two rolls maybe? Can he hold it? If he can't hold it and the, the red doesn't go past the eight ball, uh, bottom left, he's, he's got a bit of a shot to play here. It's very close to not being able to hold it. Gut feel is it doesn't. Oh, looked like he went to play it twice across, but Cannon on the yellow gets in the way. It's amazing the difference that that, 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 that one turn. Makes. One turn, yeah, yeah one turn of the ball. You know, he, he can't possibly miss them if he's a little bit straight on that, on that, that ball down the rail. Oh, he doesn't miss the double. He's still going to get out. Even though he didn't get on that last ball as he wanted to, it is still a clearance off Greg's break. And it's a three-frame lead for the first time. Mark Selby starting to pull away. He is dry once again. Cannot find a ball off his break. What a turnaround. Is it, 
It's hitting him quite flush though. He's just not getting the ball. Just can't get one in. This afternoon he was getting two a time. They were flying in everywhere and leaving really good chances for him. As I said, if you're just joining us, Mark cleared all five of his breaks this afternoon against Ryan Fleming. Yet to make a ball off the break in this match. Does mean that Greg Batten now has a chance for a reverse clearance. It's a good chance as well, really. You know, he'll look, look to pop the red now and then cannon the yellow um, above it, and here we on the, the red bottom right hand corner. And I think Oliver has go. It's a good chance, is it? Every red goes fairly comfortably. No issues getting to the eight ball as well. Just looking to see, I think, whether the, the two red set together of the bottom one of the two passes. It's just looking to see if it does. It might help his route. It's not really a problem if it doesn't. I think the key shot in the, this this frame is it. He needs to get on the red on the top right hand side rail. Good. You know, if he can just get pot this now and get anywhere near the the right hand middle pocket. Um, you know, but he doesn't want to land straight either because the red doesn't go in the, the opposite middle. It might have half a pocket into the opposite middle. If it doesn't, then yeah, straight wouldn't be ideal for him. He might have best just playing. Up. He might have been best, to be honest, there because he, he's not landing great again. He might have been best just playing up towards the blue spot yeah. to guarantee the angle. If it goes to the bottom left past the eight ball, this isn't too bad. And obviously, you've still got a cue one in. But if it doesn't go there, he's probably going to have to work the cue ball as well. Yeah, slightly awkward. Yeah, that's why he's changing his mind. Just bring this back a few inches, leave the cut down the cushion. Good shot. Very good. Very good from Greg. Ball on behind, gets an opportunity off the mark. Selby break and takes it for two. Oh, Greg makes a ball, but balls might be dictating an awkward layout and an awkward frame again. Tricky layout this is. I think he's got to go reds, even though the two reds in the, the eight ball are tied up because he'll end up looking to break out from the red next to the yellow, bottom right. Yeah, like and they can all come out in one shot. Yeah, like now he'll play now. He, play, if he plays it into the cushion first and then the red, the all the should come out. And the red, the red is hit, it should go towards the, the left hand in the pocket. Stuck. Yeah, just wanted it to pop out that little bit more. Okay, it's broken out the eight ball, it's broken out one red. If the eight ball's not in the way of the double, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad of him because as well, if he if he, he'll probably end up playing the red um, top right now. And it, well, I think that's where I would play. And if he can pot it clean, he leaves a big bag for the other red down the rail, the one that's next to the red in the middle. Yeah. For the awkward red. But he needs to pot it clean. Gets this one out of the way first, but the cue ball is going to land awkward. You'd have played the one up to the top right on that where you were there, simply because you need the balls at the bottom to be able to get on that one up to the top right. Yeah, I think so, because I think if you play the, the, the one top right, if you pot it clean, you then pot the red over the right-hand middle pocket next, and then you can leave that red that's next to you up the rail, it's a big pocket. I know you've arguably then got to deal with the ready just potty, because obviously that wasn't, that was quite tight into the middle pocket. I just thought you had, it, you had a good chance of getting out from there. 
top of the table from Mark. I was wondering whether he could play a fairly simple loss of turn and lay a snooker, but I don't think that's available to the bottom right. Oh, I'll take that. And that's come out really nicely for Mark. OK, the finish isn't really a, an option, but he's not too red safe in playing that shot. Now reds look absolutely horrible. Yeah, not okay. that they were great before, but... That comes quite better. Anyway, <laughs> <that's because it's laughs> really that comes out better as all the yellows plop over pockets. He's obviously still got that big pocket up there for the red. But obviously, the other reds are still, you know, so difficult to get on. Because you need to get on one in a way to then get on the other one in the same pocket as well. So it's, um, yeah, it's not easy now. He's, looks like he's in an aggressive mood here. Yeah. Reason being, he thinks he can get out. Well, he definitely can get out if he makes the double because the two yellows on the left, are, that you can definitely make the plant there. And the two at the top do go. So that was the one. If that drops in, he, he has a chance. Yeah, I think what he needs to do now, he'll pop the, the red uh, bottom right. And he needs, needs to leave an angle so then he can play that red down the rail off the yellow with running side. And then he can aim towards the yellows and the two reds. It doesn't look like he's playing that, but that, that's what I would play. But, but that's, that's, that's a good container shot as well, to be honest. Yeah, can't be on the yellow to the top left. So a simple loss of turn. Well, that plant, that's what he's just tied up. If he makes this, everything still goes. You can tell there it's not a straight plant, far from it, but makeable. Very makeable. Yellow's just gone awkward though. Excellent shot. More work to do. Yeah, I think the thing is now he's got to pop this yellow and then come up, go up for the top yellow, and then go back down again. So there's obviously a lot of travelling here, but I think that's any way he can get out because then if he uh, leaves the yellow next to the red last, he can take that past the red over the right corner pocket. Yeah. And Mark's shown, not just today, but when he played in the past that he's more than willing to, to play really tough positional shots and be precise but he's decided to go into it and that's not really worked yeah I think the problem with going into it then is that you had to go into it to then leave a pot on then to leave an angle to go back up what a pot what a shot that is from Mark Selby right in the heart of the pocket great shot he's pretty potted at a red light didn't he early on as yeah. well Brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant from Mark. He looked dead and buried in this frame, two shots ago. Now he's got this eight ball for a three frame lead once again. Very good. Aaron Davies 4 0 up on Cole Bedford. Phil Harrison and Luke Sanji's just got underway. He's got Gillespie 5 1 ahead of Carl Morris. And Mark Selby's break continues to stay dry. How frustrating is that as a player when you, you're breaking like a dream in your first match? You do all five and then you come into your next one, you can't make a ball. No, he's Can you tell yourself in the moment, well, you know, this is these these things happen? You try to, but it is <laughs> it is a uh, it's a bit easier to take when you still when you're still winning, but uh yeah, it's, uh, it is tough and there's no logic to it sometimes because sometimes you can hit them bad and get lots of balls off the break and then other times you can flush and don't and get anything. And you won't, he won't feel like he's hitting them any worse or better than, than this afternoon? No, no. And, and he's, not, he's not like really like going, the cue ball's coming back pretty straight in line, so, you know, he is quite good. Just, they're not really opening or nothing, are they really? Just not really getting one, but it's a messy table for Greg, really. It's not an easy finish. Yeah, that first shot where he's just clipped the, the red on top of the yellow in the bottom half has changed this frame quite dramatically. Good pot to the top right there, but you get the sense he's digging a little bit. Mind you, you got the sense in the previous frame that Mark Selby was digging, he got out, so it can happen. Changed his mind on the shot there. I do think the yellow goes, the yellow and the red that's at the bottom of the table. I do believe that 
goes. Oh, he's, he's, missed, he's missed a yellow. And these reds are, aren't bad at all. They look really messy in the bottom half, but they, they unfold, I think. I think the one directly below the eight ball, or just to the right of the eight ball, passes to the bottom right. It opens up the one to the bottom left, and so on and so forth. Even worse, where you might be able to play a plant if it doesn't, one below the eight ball doesn't go. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think that that that, that one, the red just below the eight ball, that's the key one. Yeah. He's playing a plant, Simon, so it doesn't look like it goes. Bottom and right. Made a good plant in the last frame. Needs another. Gets another lovely shot. Uh, going up the table, get rid of that one. You saw him straight away having a look at the window he's looking for coming down the table. Yeah, this is the key shot now. If you can get anywhere near the right hand middle pocket and he lands straight on the his second ball that's read into the left hand corner it's, it's frame over really so it's, it's all about this shot because he screwed on and off he's just left a, a slightly awkward angle here he'd love to be a bit more angle and, and just come around the two cushions but he's just a touch straight yeah it's like a it's like a punchy kind of shot it's not natural is it yeah far from it goes down the other side of the table because of it and needs to travel a touch short he is on this ball I feel like he needs a cannon now yeah he does yeah he, he could obviously try and cannon the yellow or the red He'd be unlucky not to be on one like he, have a shot I think he just looked at the yellow off uh, the red off the yellow nearest the right hand side in the bottom half not now but on the next one may not be on so does play the cannon and plays it very well. Another very good visit to the table for Mark Selby. Yeah, like, like a few of the few of the dry breaks that Mark has had, it's not really left like really easy finishes for Greg over there. There's always been a bit to do. Yeah. Well, a flushed break from Greg, and once again, awkward layout. Looks like it's going to be really, really good, but a couple of balls just come together at the end, making both colour sets awkward. Two reds on the right-hand side, but I guess if you can drop one in the right centre, then actually reds are pretty good here. Just the one red and yellow together. Eight ball, of course, on the side cushion, but it's you can get to it. Yeah, it was one of them. Like you say, he hit the break really good, didn't he? Like flush, and uh, they looked like they were going quite easy. <laughs> a couple of like balls just went up together and made it a tricky finish. And it's not, it's not really a finish you want to be going for. Six-two down, really. Far from it. I think he's too straight now because ideally he wanted to leave an angle on this so then he could come down and pop the red that's in the middle of the three and cannon the other two, cannon into the red and yellow that are together. Oh, and he calls a foul on himself as well. I'm assuming he kind of double hit that one in it. Yeah, I think he did. You need to yeah. see that one again. But that might be the end for him. Depends what Mark can do with these two yellows together. It's still tricky, it's still a bit to do here. Let's have another look, see if we can see. Yeah, it just comes back and touches the queue. Well, that hasn't helped. Oh, I see his plan is to pop this thin and come round two. I think that's almost exactly where he wanted to leave it then. Oh, couldn't make the pot, makes the double though. This is still awkward. Yeah, be looking taking the yellow top right. Oh, 
brilliant. Another pot. He really digs himself out. He's been in some tough spots in this in this match, and a, a big pot has just put him back in great position. Oh, he's overdone it. He has going to that too much. Uh, he's got to play the plant there. Yeah, the problem with the plant though, the yellow looks like it's going away from the pocket just a fraction. Yeah, well, wanted to make that as straight as possible, but. I tell you what would be frustrating for Mark there, considering the conditions out there, how hot it is, how tough it is. He's probably, once he'd made the one to the top right, he's thinking, oh, good, I'm out here now. I'm, I'm a couple of minutes away, a quick interview, and then I can go and cool down somewhere. But there's plenty more hard work still to do, and we're about to go into 15 seconds a shot as well. Yeah, he just, he just flew back on him, didn't he? When, he, when, he, when he screwed that ball back, he just, uh, he's just reacted on the table, as you know. So. Yeah. Greg wanted to open up that pocket, the bottom left, when he played that previous shot, but yellow's gone awkward, so it has to be a double. And the double doesn't go in. Well, it might not be that much more hard work than for Mark. Three balls away from another victory here as we tick into the 15 seconds a shot. And in it goes, a very gritty performance from Mark Selby.